It's time for the Blue Nose Baboon Hour with DJ Kyle Callahan, brought to you by BlueNoseBaboonProductions.com. Warning, this show contains adult themes and language. Discretion is advised. And welcome to another edition of the Blue Nose Boon Hour, man. We've got a fucking show for you. We have the one and only duo from heaven. We have Buddha Triangle and the nice entourage in the studio. Don't miss that. In about 10 minutes time, an interview and live performances in the studio. Absolutely great. This week, however, folks, and my Blue Nose buddies out there, I wasn't smashed off my fucking ass. I actually got the job done for change. Okay, on for the... The completely legitimate fan mail. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Kai, you suck. Your show is a piece of filth. You uh, are a wart on the arse of, rea- uh, of reality. Well, thanks for that. Uh, I-, I would sincerely hope you, die- you get cancer of the bell end. I would happily dance on your grave, you piece of shit. And it says here, P.S. Don't forget your father's birthday next Sunday. Love, Mum. Okay, thanks, Mum. Okay, uh, dear Kai, I see that you live in the in Portugal for seventeen years. Do you like it? That's from Rusty Ball Snatcher from Croydon. Uh, no, no, I don't fucking like it. It's, it's just stress, mate. Stress, stress, stress. I wake up some morning thinking, do I go to my swimming pool? Or do I go to the fucking beach? It's a fucking nightmare. I tell you honestly. Okay, and uh, last but not least is, dear Kai, your show has inspired me. To rupture both my eardrums with a sharpened pencil. A pencil? A pencil? What's a fucking pencil? And that's from Seymour Cockshaft from Islington. Okay, up for the first tune. This is Lucille's Voodoo with Sigma. <laughs> Somebody else wants me to be Tried so hard and for so long Just to find that I've been stuck with a meal I tried it hard, I tried it all But never would I should have tried
Seals Voodoo Man. Space Save Me Fuck. What a wicked tune that is. Okay, now it's time for this week's Tip Top Topical Tip of the Week. It's time for Blue Nose Baboon Tip Top Topical Tip of the Week. It certainly is. Okay, uh, so, uh, travel in peace on public transport by simply holding a copy of the Quran, rocking backward or forward and saying, Allah Akbar, death to America, death to America. This way, pretty soon you'll have the whole carriage or bus to yourself. Ooh, what a tasty tip. Ooh, what a tasty tip. Now a word from our sponsors. Come to the Go Go Dongle Bar this weekend for an all action, all fun, all drinking party experience. Special drink offers and happy hour after 8 o'clock. Two for one buckets of sangria. Vomit inducing shots. Golden showers of cheap champagne. All night repetitive beat shots to help you dance your way into an early case of arthritis. Your DJs, DJ Edron. DJ build up and DJ who cares? Free entry for any barely legal teenage girl too drunk to know any better. It's time to go to the go 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 go. Here we go, I'll go. That's his blue nose baboon. Radio. That's his Blue it's Nose Roman. Baboon Radio. Yes, it is, my friends. Okay, up for now, this is a fantastic band from New Zealand. This is Ashai with Bright Eyes. Listen to Blue Nose Boon at 100% independent music from around the world. Fuck yeah! 
Yes, you're listening to the Blue Nose Boon Hour, me, DJ Twatty Bollocks, here for your pleasure. Okay, we've got... Oh, fucking, what am I doing? Hey, now, for a quick word from our sponsors. Women, keep your mimsy clean. A daily wash with new luck kebab soap. For women, you will freshen up your flaps and stop them stinking like an old kipper. Lux Kebab Soap. Ask your doctor today. I wish I bought my ex-missus that, mate. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, you got to get it in. A little spiteful sometimes, isn't it? Listen, okay, now we've got John Kerr, our resident fucking spokesman for humanity. Spokesman for humanity. All oh, right, my theory is that basically... Uh, we've got a hundred year cycle, so we're back to like uh, the beginning of the 20th century, like 1916, uh-huh. where all the shit happened, First World War. And uh, so you have the same mechanisms. Now, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Now they're going to start. In 1907, there was a, a, a stock market crisis, just like in 1908. And exactly. fucking, exactly. Now they want a fucking se- a third section of wars for the fucking military complex to make more fucking money, to buy more fucking politicians and more fucking judges and more fucking political influence in their pockets until we get a one world government. Is that not correct, John? Yeah, yeah. And reduce the population in the process. And they're already doing it now by fucking chemtrails, spreading fucking disease from chemtrails and fucking putting shite in our food, fucking putting sterilization in our fucking water. Man, what the fuck's this? Taking pills, medicine for everything, antibiotics for this. Antibiotics in the cattle, antibiotics in the fucking pigs, in the sheep, in the chickens, in our food. What the fuck? We are being farmed. As a matter of fact, they found antibiotics in all the fish because it ends up in the sea. Man, and we all piss and shit the fuck around. Listen, that is our fucking segment for today. John, see you next week. Awesome. Spokesman for humanity. Now we're up for the main event. Jesus, don't go turning your fucking computer off. You've got to listen to these guys. This is the interview and live fucking performance, studio performance with Buddha Triangle. It's interview time. Fuck yeah! And we're very, very lucky to have Buddha Triangle in the studio. Take it away, boys. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Broken promises, this I know is true. Give me just one reason, I would share my love with you. you Twisted tongue and evil eyes, clear for me to see. Keep your broken promises, you won't get no love from me. Love from me, love from me, love from me, love from me. I must have drunk a food who posted that snack, cause I swear I saw a demon in the morning light. Eyes so bright with a tail so thin She had a beauty on the outside but even within Sin, such a guilt with pleasure But this in this girl was old and it could hold no measure She got me under the curses When she led me to the graveyard and put me in the hearse In the hearse Life of curse No reverse Life of curse She full of broken promises This I know is true Give me just one reason I would share my love with you you twisted tongue and evil eyes, clear for me to see. Keep your broken promises, you won't get no love from me. Love from me, love from me, love from me, love from me. The devil was surprised when she looked in my eyes. No matter how she tried to see but through her disguise. Exercise where to call the priest, we need an exorcism or to be the devil's feast. To say the least, I was all alone. And the devil queen, she took a place in the throne. The night was growing thin, and so I had to give in. I better settle down for a lifetime of sin. Life of sin, don't give in. Life of sin, don't give in. You full of broken promises. This I know is true. Give me just one reason, I would share my love with you. 
twisted tongue and evil eyes clear for me to see keep your broken promises you won't get no love from me 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 this is how the story ends sad but also true please be where the devil she'll take a hold of you my take and soul is twisted now oh how can this be a life of broken promises she took my love from me you're listening to the blue nose baboon hour and you're fucked yes give it up for put a triangle man wow my lads fucking great to have you on the show there we got sam and we have Mehdi. how you doing buddies you okay doing well yeah Wicked. all good so listen let's talk about how we met um i bumped into you on the uh, paddy's day st patrick's it day was, yeah. and yeah. Um, me and my mate were getting pissed oh sorry practicing uh, <laughs> <laughs> a bit of both a bit of both outside <laughs> the uh, the bar, and I heard you guys going. I thought they're fucking great, man. You know, so uh, I came down and saw like, hey, I got a radio show. You know, why don't we come on? Like, and the great thing though, you you come up to Mullins. We had a, uh, a sort of jam after. Uh, yeah, you know, the we love Mullins. Oh, that was it. Big shout out to Mr. Mullins, what oh, legend? Yeah. Edward Peter Mullin, you hear that out there? So uh, I gotta say, you brought uh, not only did you bring people with you, which was fucking brilliant, but you brought a whole vibe. Uh, you know, so, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you guys want. <laughs> anyway, but I wish I'd had some, but put it that way. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I'm the only druggie on this fucking show. Right? So, you're travelling around Europe, basically, at the moment. That's right, you? yeah. Which is quite a fucking, uh, a very brave thing. I did it myself, and it's... Fuck yeah! Not easy, buddy. <laughs> and living on music as well, as you do, as, we, as, you, as you're doing, you, you completely do your own fucking songs. You don't do any covers, do you? No, it's all original stuff. And Jeez. we just stand out outside the restaurants and play a bit of love songs for the lovers who are chilling, making their own like vibe and that. You know, and I love it. It's great. Oh, man. Honestly. We're just spreading the love, man. I, I'm just spre- I'm, I'm just spreading herpes, but there you go. That's that's <laughs> yeah, story. a bit of that as well, but we won't talk about that even. <laughs> so I just have to move around, uh, itching a little bit. But this coming coming onto this, you have um, a Facebook page where yeah, basically uh, Buddha Triangle, yeah. Buddha Triangle, it? yeah, Facebook, SoundCloud, and that's it. I think go and have a look because I listen to the, some of the stuff on Sound on SoundCloud. It's fucking awesome and really good recording. Where did you record that? We recorded it all ourselves. Yeah, it's mostly been yeah, done on the road. Yeah, just with a little recording device on the road. Yeah, no studio. We've little zoom, been the studio. zoom microphone. You, yeah. You're joking? No, serious. Yeah. Well, when when I'm gonna pl- actually at the end of this interview, I'll stick stick one of those songs on. Yeah. Just so people can hear. That, yeah, yeah, that'd be am- great, man. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the la, la, la finding, finding a space where the you know there's a nice sound in the room, so it catches it from this four channel microphone. But what you got going is your, your the way your your, your voices interlink. They, inter- say they really work well together. Yeah, well, we both come from different backgrounds. I mean, I taught myself how to play guitar and sing, so I'm a bit more kind of rough-edged. And Murdy's uh, studied musical theatre and stuff, so he's got like a much more beautiful, harmonious voice, and the two of them mixed together make something quite weird. Well, cool. I, I think it's, I think <laughs> well, we enjoy it anyway. I think it's, uh, Weird might not be the word, but you know. Uh, and, uh, it would have been the first word that sprung to mind, but a beautiful fucking combination. Uh, I was like... I remember sort of like my mouth and my jaw fell open when you guys, because you got up a few times on that evening and you had, ev- I fucking got up, people were sat on their asses looking really bored. You guys got up, everyone starts fucking dancing. <laughs> what the fuck, man? No, but it was really a real pleasure and I was determined to get you on the show uh, for this reason, live in the studio here. So at Blue Nose Boom, KGB Studios, we're calling it as well. <laughs> so listen, look, we're going to get another number out, yo. Yeah? Yeah, what kind of vibe are you thinking? Something a bit more upbeat or something a bit more lovey, chill? Well, I'd say... Who the fuck is he fuck? It's up to you. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Well, uh, That's my posh. We've got ladies in the room. We've got a a female audience. I have to be a little bit... uh, uh, Hello, look, give a shout out to the ladies. How you doing? Woo! At least I don't have to use my fake clapping sample, which is fucking fantastic. So, guys... (laughs) I'm on about clap again. Look, geez, that's come, come, come full circle. That is herpes clap. Yeah, you're on the right show. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. Okay. <laughs> okay so we'll, we'll, we'll play like an old love number, which we'd normally play outside the restaurants. This is our opening song for Love Time. Fucking take it away. And 
I said That girl, she got fire She got burning deep desire She got a burning deep desire She could pull my strings like wires Pulling my strings like wires Pulling my strings like wires I need you what you speak, she inspires my mind oh, oh. So hard to find, so hard to find True love is blind, true love is blind Because you look to find my mind With your visions of the light And in the darkest steps of the night You know your energy took flight So come with me I lead you through the manners of my mind We shared these dreams a thousand times And I love We shared these dreams a thousand times We shared these dreams a thousand times And I love Oh, oh. That girl, she got fire, she got burning deep desire, she got a burning deep desire. She could pull my strings like wires, pulling my strings like wires, pulling my strings like wires. I need you what to speak, she inspires my mind. Show me sights when my eyes, when my eyes were so blind, my eyes were so blind, when my eyes were so blind. When my eyes were so blind. Because I traveled so high to the peak of emotion All the feelings I felt, they were deep like the ocean When I look in your eyes, when I look in your eyes You could just stop time in motion Sit the deep emotions I felt Time in motion It's deep emotion Sit the deep emotions I felt Fucking yes! That's a genetic love song about someone who I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you old dirty stuff out you. Hey, fucking brilliant stuff, man. Brilliant stuff. So, like, how long you got you guys been... Well, hang on, one question. Did you know each other before you started travelling around Europe? Uh, yeah, we did, yeah. We've known each other for about a year. So only? So, you basically, but a real new duo. Basically yeah, started. basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were at a party and uh, Sam started singing, like freestyling about one of our friends. And I, I sat down next to him and started singing along some freestyle harmonies. And um, he called me the next day. It turned out he'd recorded it on his phone and really liked it. And he said, do you want to make some music together? Yeah, our mate was lying pretty much naked on the floor with a rug as a, as a kind of bit of clothing. And then we were singing about how he was a caveman. <laughs> I can see Raj chilling on the floor like a caveman. Big shout out to Raj. <laughs> Big shout out to Raj, pajama man, legend. So, in that one year, you have actually co written these songs? Yeah, well, I've been writing songs for about six years, and then there's uh, some of them Maddie's put the harmonies on top of, and like quite a few of the new ones we're doing, we've written together. Uh, we'll play some more like kind of upbeat, kind of rappy stuff in a bit or something, yeah. you know? Uh, but yeah, that that last one I wrote years ago, but we kind of brought it back to life with the harmonies, you know. All right, but it's because it, because I'm going to dedicate half the show to the interview, uh, I'm okay, going to have to yeah. put the, uh, some of our regular um, rants and stuff. Yeah, that's all this, cool, this, man. This Love is a, bit um, of a rant. This is rant. Actually, this is my turn because my daughter is a big Harry Potter head. 
Okay. Fucking huge. Like, Plot it. No, actually, but the comparison, <laughs> but the thing is, when I was that age, I hope she's not listening. When I was that age, I was a fucking pothead. And now the comparison yeah. now, the innocence that she's got is amazing. And not only her, her friends as well. So I'm thinking my mind was the lost generation for fucking sure. So <laughs> I've, I've gone on to this. I preposition preposition with a certain friend of mine left me this. And <laughs> Rant, Rant of, of the week. week. Fucking teenagers. They make they, they're, they're, they're pussies nowadays. When I was a teenager, man, I was a hairy pothead, right? Nowadays, they're Harry Potter fucking heads. You know, hey, man. All on about wands and fucking magic spells. And I was into bongs and fucking magic mushrooms. At least I was cool in my day, man. I tell you, hey, hey, guys, hey, all you kids out there, all you teenagers, I've got a fucking spell for you. How about this one? Dolores Maximus Bullshitialis. <laughs> Rant, Rant of, of the week. week. Now I'm going to hand you over to Buddha Triangle. What, what you got planned for us today, uh, this next song, guys? Uh, well, this is a new song which we've written. It's a bit kind of uh, out there. It's a- AKA called the La 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 Song or Slave to Your TV. It's kind of a bit like kind of political, I guess, in some. Oh, way, we love we love all that. We love all uh, that. But yeah, it's kind of at the end. Maybe everyone can sing along, and it's all bit, you know, something like that. Yeah. Okay, You'll take it away. It take it away. bedroom all day and all night in hindsight you should look after yourself because the east enders on the bus ain't good for your health wealth 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 what you buying you're saying that you're happy but i know you've been lying advertising defies and fries your mind they got the millions but it doesn't take a penny to be kind something don't feel right you've had too many long long sleepless nights you need some help to fight this thing you cry Wasting all your days, it's not who you're supposed to be A slave to your TV Although the worst could be minimal Start up in the virtual but end up in the physical Subliminal messages built to melt your brain Visions of glitz, glamour, money and fame It's all the same, it's just karaoke Put you in the chokey, make you do the hokey cokey It's a joke, and if you wanna be famous Just get on your knees and kiss Simon Cow's anus Something don't feel right You've had too many long, long sleepless nights You need some help to fight this thing you cry Wasting all your days, it's not who you're supposed to be A slave to your TV You're a hypocrite, you don't even recycle shit You spend the day on your iPhone, doesn't really fit Give a little bit, receive so much more Because there's more than life than acid trips and happy hardcore You're not poor, you're a trust trustafarian You've got a Pomeranian, stop acting like an alien Until the day that you get off your ass You'll always be a hypocrite, sitting in a different class Something don't feel right You've had too many long, long sleepless nights You need some help to fight this thing you crave Wasting all your days, it's not who you're supposed to be Sleep to your TV
la 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 Thanks, everyone. Yeah, especially like a bit about uh, Simon Cowell. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I thought he was a fucking anus. So yeah, yeah. The kiss is fucking anus. Listen, guys, now, mystifying fucking weird, random fucking shit. Actually, I do have a jingle around here done for something like this. What we like on this show is like uh, random shit, basically. It's random crazy shit. Random crazy and shit. And that's what it is. Fucking pocket. What okay. the fuck was that about, man? Pocket, pocket. That's what. That's what really got me addicted to what you do. Well, There's such a random fucking thing to to sing, man. It's well, brilliant. Well, when um, basically we're from Hastings. We're original pirate material. Okay. And um, we have the pirate crew. Yeah, pirate crew. And we do a gig every year at Pirate Day, in the old town. Uh-huh. And uh, the first year we did it, I said, um, you know what? I want, I'm going to write a pirate song. In fact, I'm going to write ten pirate songs, and I only ever ended up writing one. But basically, me and my mates, uh, big shout out Josh Corbett and uh, Phil Neville, a.k.a. Chris Goodman, we were, uh, we were all sitting around and we'd been up all night having a good time. And then it just came out of somewhere. I don't know. I probably can't remember because I was so hammered. And then came <laughs> around and it was there. And we were just saying pocket to each other, going pocket, pocket, <laughs> pocket, pocket. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and then we, we played Love it at the it, gig man. and it, everyone loved it and then it just stuck from there. Well, look, I've got a segment to fit in because uh, so I'm going to try to have this go over the half hour because, I mean, I've got you in the studio. It'd be a shame to waste the thing. So I'm going to have to show yeah. the things in that, that I normally put in the show. This is um, Penny Ante, right? And she's a, she was a, she's a sexually ambiguous 57-year-old ex-office worker who's just been given the shove. Now she's working for Blue Nose Baboon as a poetress and she writes us the poetry. This is called Penny Ante's Poems. Big shout out, Penny. Penny Ante's Poems Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily I use Vaseline (laughs) Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily I take it up the arse Penny Ante's poems. Thank you, Penny. Don't know where we'd be without that Big one. Big shout out. <laughs> I found that so really inspiring. It's inspiring. Very inspiration. Inspiring, yeah. Okay, <laughs> she's a good old girl. She is. She, 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 no, she, she actually Feature. does. She actually does. She, she really does take up the ass. Anyway, yeah. on we go with the, the pocket song. Boy. You want the pocket song, yeah. Please, mate, because this is Arr, what, I was in, I was in we fucking... We are pirates, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. Do that to Malcolm McMillan. Arr, whenever, me <laughs> Malcolm, whenever we go out on the piss, me and Malcolm fucking do, do, we turn into fucking pirates. Arr, like this. <laughs> Lucky it doesn't happen fucking more than twice a year. Anyway, right, so this is Buddha Triangle. And what's it? Is it called Pocket? It's called yes, Pocket. Sir, it is. Buddha Triangle. And you, know the, you know the drill, didn't you? When pocket. I say Pocket, you got to say Pocket, yeah? yeah? Got it. One more time. What? Pocket. 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 Yeah, that'll do. All right, this is Pocket by Buddha Triangle. Take it away. They're burning, they're burning, they're burning, they're burning, they're burning a hole in your wallet. And they laugh when they joke as you choke, cause you're broken, they've got you in their pocket. What was that? Pocket! 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 Never gonna let you go. And they call us pirates, but what can we say? That's just life at the end of the day. Life at the end of the day The prices are rising, the tide is rising It's washing all over your head They forgot to mention they've taken your pension They're leaving you for dead And they call us pirates but they're the scum Try to scare us, but we will not run. And if we're pirates, explain yourself how you cut education and national health. Cut education and national health. (laughs) 
They're burning, they're burning, they're burning, they're burning, they're burning a hole in your wallet. And they laugh and they joke as you choke, cause you're broken, they've got you in their pocket. Pocket, 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 pocket. Never gonna let you go. And they call us pirates, but what can we say? That's just life at the end of the day. That's just life at the end of the day. I'm gonna break it down for many to do a little whistle solo right now. Hold tight. Break it down right now. So we try to make some sound like this. They're burning, they're burning, they're burning, they're burning, they're burning a hole in your wallet. And they laugh when they joke as you choke, cause you're broken, they've got you in their pocket. Pocket, 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 pocket. Never gonna let you go. And they call us pirates, but what can we say? That's just life at the end of the day. That's just life at the end of the day. That's just life at the end of the day. That's just life at the end of the day. That's just life at the end of the day. Fuck it. Fuck it. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Well, fucking hell. Listen, now we've got to have a word from our sponsors. This is a new Chinese re- restaurant that's opened up in Ferreira. You come now to Oriental Food and World of Chinese Restaurant. Plenty good food for our family. Pets and dogs, very welcome. This week's specialties are sweet and sour fido, kitten chow mein, and egg fried wrap. Our house special, sizzling cat next door. We easy find. Follow abandoned dog collar and we open now in center of Farila. Farail. Oh, other fire. We clean clothes too. Are we at the Buddha Model Chinese restaurant? You eat what we give. Plenty good. Highly recommend the sweet and sour fucking rap there. Fucking brilliant stuff. Okay, so we're here with the one and only Buddha Triangle. Listen, guys, how did you come up with the name? Uh, well, basically, uh, I've, I've, I made Buddha Triangle about six years ago with a couple of my close friends. And I couldn't play guitar or sing or anything. I just used to beatbox really bad. like, <laughs> But like worse than that, you know. And, uh, and then my mate Josh, he used to rap in a deep voice. Uh, not amazingly either. And then our mate Pete Wilson used to do everything, like play keys and guitar and everything. And we used to play in this little bar called Barcelona in uh, in Hastings with this South African guy, and he was like our only fan. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much yeah how we came up with it. <laughs> Love it, man. But Buddha, the a Buddha's triangle is actually an acupuncture technique which is applied to your ear, which makes you feel relaxed and all through your body and stuff. Oh, but I, I didn't know that when I made the thing. I actually, there was only three of us <laughs> and we just thought Buddha something, so Buddha Triangle. But now there's like bloody millions of us. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're the duo on tour, man. Yeah, so we're having it. So listen, look, what countries have you hit so far? We, uh, we went to Holland and we spent a month in Amsterdam in a place called, how do you pronounce it? Rijhoord. Rijhoord. <laughs> <laughs> He's better at the pronunciations than me. Yeah, uh, then we, uh, we hitchhiked all the way from Holland. They actually had a stop sign where you could um, go and pull up and it's just a sign of a hand with a thumb out. Um, and we made it all the way from Amsterdam to Marseille in three days. That's yeah, fucking good actually, going. We've got a song which one of the lyrics is about Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Marseille. Marseille. It's the traveling song. Yeah, the traveling song, which is not really finished, but we can probably play it. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> what, uh, you know what they say about these sort of things? Don't underestimate the force. Right, okay. The yeah. force of busking, mate. <laughs> so we're going to have that song about you guys' journey to Marseille. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do it. Do yeah. That. So, do you want to intro it? You can intro it, Sam. Intro it? Yeah. What, so I'll tell you what it's about. Yeah. Well, basically, uh, we hitchhiked from Amsterdam to Marseille in three days. <laughs> uh, Didn't we just cover that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a long story, you know. We ended up 
trying to go and meet one of my ex-girlfriends in Perpignan, but ended up in uh, Grenoble. I don't even oh know yeah. where that is. And then we got picked up by a Catholic priest, and he... Oh, it should be a bit dangerous, that. Well, no, he's actually a rock star. Yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah. in a rock band, and he gave, gave us some panatoni, panatoni and everything. And yeah, he gave yeah. us some bread, and we cruised with him for a bit. And then we realized we were in the wrong place, and we are nowhere near where we were supposed to be. And then we got picked up by a dodgy Chechen guy who we thought was going to murder us, but he was all right in the end. Yeah, he did. He, he had did some perfume, us, and he sprayed it around and everything. <laughs> yeah, so that was an exhilarating experience. But well, anyway, yeah. here's, here's the traveling song, which is uh, called... That probably, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh is something new, highs and the lows, but we power through. Forget everything you know, take to the road, cause the world is there for you. Only took about three days, Amsterdam down to Marseille. Take it easy, cause it's okay. Take to the road, cause the world is there for you. We broke bread with the priests, cruising through the mountains with the Panatoni feast. I feel released from the day to day life, but we'll get some wine, friends, living so nice, no strife. We met a lady named Lynn, now it's growing thin, so she had to take us in. We didn't even have to break the bad weather, relaxing the whip, the duck and down feather. Right, God, my God, magical place, for the chilling in the church with a smile on his face. Side trance rave till late in the morning, not too late, a new day's dawning. We took the daft bus to ADM, spiking out, getting mashed up and then. Round about the time I made loads of friends, it was time to put my thumb, I hit the road again. To find something fresh and something new, highs and the lows, but we power through. Forget everything you know Take to the road cause the world is there for you Only took about three days Amsterdam down to Marseille Take it easy cause it's okay Take to the road cause the world is there for you We picked almond from the almond tree Best foods in life you know you get for free It's pulling up man, who could it be? Open up the door and it's Mr. JP Such a G, welcome us into his home Even in the dark snow you're never alone Oh no, I think we've run out of time. A new friend for life found in the sunshine. Find something fresh and something new. Highs and the lows, but we power through. Forget everything you know. Take to the road, cause the world is there for you. Only took about three days. Amsterdam down to Marseille. Take it easy, cause it's okay. Take to the road, cause the world is there for you. Whoa, yes! That's uh, that's incomplete and exclusive. We've never played that one to anyone, really. We haven't, really. So, really? Well, yeah. all I've got to say to that is this. Oh, you dirty bastard! <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going on to now one, another uh, word from our sponsors. Yeah, Good for, stuff. Uh, it's a whiskey called Angry Jock Malt Whiskey. See, it's your fucking whiskey. She's like a lot of pus. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking tasting that now. It's fucking rubbish. It's fucking shites, it's Thule, you know what I'm saying? It's fuck. I'm going to do my night and that, but it's fucking rubbish. It's just, it's just fucking no good. It's like the football, you know. I got in the football now and there's fucking people coming down the fucking road to play, passing the ball, back to the front, up the back, doing a geezer up the fucking top, and the geezer's fucking useless, he's missed it. Fucking goalkeepers are asleep, I'm a shite. What the fuck's going on with you fucking people? I just don't get it, I don't fucking get it at all, because you know what I'm saying? When, it, when the fucking football's right, it's fucking right, and right is right and wrong is fucking wrong. And you can't tell me fucking right is right when fucking wrong, wrong is fucking wrong, right? I fucking know it, right? So I'm fucking telling you, right? Don't fuck about with a, with a whiskey. Don't fuck about with a fucking music. You can take your fucking freedom, but you'll never take our fucking football, you know what I'm saying? Because we are the fucking best, Scotland's best fucking football team in the fucking world, and our whiskey's fucking the best whiskey in the world. And you can't fucking say nothing about that, right? Because otherwise you're gonna fucking come down there, punch your fucking lights out, alright, pal? Now don't fuck with me again, I'm fucking coming down. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be a wee funny. Drink angry jock malt whiskey hey, hey, hey. when you simply hey, hey. must be a lily prick. What's on my drum? Now it's time for the joke of the week. Blue Nose Gagoon time. It's Blue Nose Gagoon time. Okay, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse end up in the divorce courts. And summing up, the judge says, um, uh, Mr. Mouse, I'm afraid I cannot uh, allow you to divorce your wife simply on the grounds that she has protruding front teeth. And Mickey Mouse says, I didn't say that! I said she was fucking goofy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the old ones are the good ones. So, listen, we're wrapping it up now with uh, Buddha Triangle here. We're going to get another song at you, though. And yeah, a little why bit. Of, not? Hey, man, we've got another five minutes or so I can squeeze in, especially if I keep getting the segments in as we go along. Listen, so what's your plans? What's your next step? Where are you off to? Well, we've, uh, we've got to go back to England. To <gasps> oh, no, no, no. oh, no. It's not the end of the journey. It's just the <laughs> beginning of another one. Yeah, but it's yeah, um, continuing. We, yeah, so con- we're having a continuing party of the weekend. We're going to leave in a few days, and then we're going to hitchhike back to England because uh, we're playing at a festival called Small World in Kent. Oh, yeah. Which we always go to, our favourite festival Right, ever. let's just promote that. What, what date to the, is, is it's that? It's the 26th Tw- to the 31st of, uh, May? of May, I believe, yeah. And it's yeah. in? It's in, in Headcorn in Kent. Kent. Okay, you heard that Headcorn in Kent. The, uh, these dates you just said just slipped through my, fucking through my mind. <laughs> 26th to the 31st. The 26th to the Great 31st festival, of May, Buddha festival. Triangle. You'll be, up, you'll, be, you'll be up on the fucking... Yeah, we're on the main yeah, stage. Yeah, we're, oh. playing on, we're playing on Sunday at half two in the afternoon. It's Sunday half raucous, two. Full band madness. Right, cool, man. Listen, uh, I'll, I'll give you a link to our Blue Nose Boom Music Productions group with 1,500 members. Cool. Uh, your members as well. Basically. Are you on Facebook? We are. Yeah. Right, I'll, ca- I'll catch you as well on Facebook as well. And it pl- anything you want promoting, send to us. All right. Thanks so, that, what, what's your, what's your, what, what are you going to play out with? I think we're going to finish on a song about climate change. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. And Go. this one's going out to my main brothers back in London, Climate Brothers, who are legends. And I wrote this one with them uh, for them at a festival because they promote clothing stuff. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like polar bears that's, what I, that's what I love, these in-depth interviews that I seem yeah, to be doing yeah. these days. It's fucking amazing. Like <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this is a song called uh, Who Cares About the Polar Bears. Go on, baby. If you do, just sing along. Yeah, yeah, so if you, if you know, then it's cool, sweet. Love you. about the polar bears who cares who cares who cares about the polar bears we care we care we care about the polar bears we care we care we care about the polar bears the polar bears are fighting Every single day Where once there was land Now it's melting all away And then polar bears keep searching Searching for their home Now they've got nowhere to go And they're feeling all alone Then polar bears keep searching Searching for their land They see the ice caps melting But they just can't understand And then polar bears keep searching For the place they used to know They've lost their land, they've lost their home, and there's nowhere left to go, so... Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about the polar bears? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares about the polar bears? We care, we care, we care about the polar bears. We care, we care, we care about the polar bears. Whistle so low. about the polar bears who cares who cares who cares about the polar bears we care we care we 
care about the polar bears. We care, we care, we care about the polar bears. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Hey! Now I get to use my fake clapping sample. Hey, man. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show, no, it's man. It's been a pleasure to be here. pleasure. And when you breeze on back through, which I hope you do, because yeah, most yeah, people sure. do, we'll be back. please come on the show again, man. Listen, uh, this has been Blue Nose Boone interviewing fucking Buddha Triangle, Sammy and Meddy, man. Thank you guys for coming on. See you next no time. Thank Big you. love. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what a fantastic afternoon that was. What a really a, a nice bunch of lads and a great entourage with them as well. Listen, guys, if, I know you're listening to this. I know you're listening through to this show. You're welcome on this show any fucking day of the week. I'm telling you, you're amazing. Listen, I'm not going to spin the tune from you guys, uh, from your SoundCloud thing. I'm going to do that next week, and I'm going to keep your music alive as much as I can. But what we do have is the Bounty Hunters. Too loud, too rough, too bad. <laughs> If you have to 
something softer A little more discreet There's a place for you, my friend The jazz club down the street So my guitar is way too loud And my chops are pretty rough Too loud, too rough So this week's fact of the week is the most addictive substance known to man is oxygen. You try giving that fucker up and tell me about it. Fact of the week. Now for a quick segment. What the fuck? Who the fuck? Why the fuck? What the fuck? Who the fuck? Why the fuck? Idel. Okay, Idel. Uh, God bless our hearts. She's just uh, actually coming to a little bit of trouble coming back into Heathrow Airport on the way back from JFK. Uh, she was apparently frisked by customs, customs and excise and found with uh, five kilos of crack in her knickers. What the fuck? Who the fuck? Why the fuck? Now, if I told you that was true, would you believe me? Right, we're going to play out now with my favourite rocker from Rhode Island, Johnny Wild. I've been Kyle Callan. This is the Blue Nose Baboon Hour. You've been my Blue Nose buddies. See you next week. Listen up, y'all. This is Johnny Wild from the band Blindside Thunder, and you're listening to my friend K.O. Callahan on the Blue Nose Baboon Hour. Crank it up. Mm-hmm.